historians Chef Mia here will be air frying the super bowl and filling it with their ultimate seven layer dip. Now let's tackle this game one snack at a time. Subscribe to join our Kasori community and hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications every time we upload a new recipe video. All right, we've got everything laid out, ready to go. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your tortillas are cut. So we have six tortillas right here and I cut them directly into the center and you want them to be split like this. We are using 10 inch tortillas today to be able to make this edible dip bowl for the ultimate seven layer dip. Just spray both sides of the tortillas with some cooking spray. I'm using a neutral oil, like canola oil, um, avocado oil, or any vegetable oil. I would not recommend extra virgin olive oil that does have a lower smoke point, so it might um, cause your tortillas to get too burned or crispy in the air fryer. Now for the fun part. You have to mold it to the shape of your air fryer. So we've preheated it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to release the inner basket. Now, what you're gonna do is take the cut tortilla and twist it into a cone shape like so. Place the seam side down. We're going to put four of these cone shapes into each corner of the air fryer first. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom is perfectly flat and the inside is like this. So in order to like get these walls to stay, we're going to be inserting the um, foil balls. But first, what you wanna do is just grab the eight ounces of cheese. You're not using all of it. You wanna save some for garnish at the end. You're going to just lift up the flaps that um, are on top of each other and just sprinkle cheese in. And this will act as the glue and hold your bowl together. Okay, so we've got the layers sprinkled with the cheese. And now you're just gonna put in these foil balls. That way it helps keep the walls up and it won't collapse while it's being fried in the air fryer because the convection oven is spinning really fast and it will prompt the flaps to fall forward and you don't want that. And then after you have those in, it's gonna take some kitchen shears and we're going to trim the excess off the sides. So that way your tortilla bowl doesn't burn in the air fryer. And I would follow the curve so you still get that bowl shape. And now I'm just going to take a sheet of foil like so. And we're going to insert down right on top of those foil balls. This way it helps cover the edges of the tortillas as well. So it won't burn. And this is this process is called tenting and it helps um, reduce the Maillard reaction, which is, which is uh, the caramelization of sugars and what causes the golden brown delicious on everything that you put into an oven, a fryer, toaster oven, anything. Okay, we're going to insert this into the outer basket now. Because remember, the Kasori air fryer will not function unless both baskets are inserted into the machine. it on. You're going to hit the temperature and time button. Going to adjust the temperature up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then lower the time down to just five minutes. And you're all set. Perfect. The bowl is ready now. We're going to go into stage two. So be careful when you remove it. It's going to be warm. What stage two is, is we're going to remove all of the foil and the foil balls in here. And the cheese is nicely melted now, but it's not as stable as you want it for a bowl yet. So what we're going to do is gently and carefully remove the tortilla bowl. And we're going to take another tortilla and just put it on the bottom, put more cheese on this one while it's in the air fryer basket place the bowl back on top, and then it will 
again, melt all together and create the tortilla bowl. So here we go. Just like that. I just rest that there for now. We're going to take this tortilla. You can twist it so it stays. And we're gonna get a little bit more cheese. Sprinkle that at the bottom. You don't need a lot, you just need a little bit so everything sticks together. Then you're going to just lift this baby back up. Plop her back down. And you're going to put it back into the outer basket. Put everything back in. And then you're gonna cover it one more time. Place it back into the air fryer. And you're going to, once again, turn the air fryer on and adjust everything to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And fry it one more time at five minutes. And it should be all set. Yes, it's completely done now. So you wanna remove it from the air fryer. Remember, it's going to be hot. So again, take out that inner air fryer basket. Now, the easy way to remove the foil balls, you can use tongs or whatever, but I just like hold the sides because everything's crispy now. And you just gently shake all of them out. Now, you're going to, hang on, look at this. Your bowl is ready. We're going to let it cool off to the side so you can put it back onto the air fryer. All right, so we're letting the bowl cool right here. And while that's cooling, we're going to go ahead and make the pico de gallo. This is five Roma tomatoes diced up. We're going to add in the onions. And then for your kosher salt and the ground black pepper, this is just up to your preference. And just start off by sprinkling some in here. And then I'm going to squeeze in the limes. So again, you're gonna take two limes, you're gonna squeeze both of those limes into your pico mix. And what's great about this is that you're making the pico fresh, so it's gonna taste really yummy and give you extra texture into your dip bowl. It's gonna provide different crunches and flavor profiles once it's mixed together with all the beans and the cheese and the chicken. And after we make this pico, we're actually going to reserve a fourth cup of it and add it to your guac. And now we're going to add in the entire one um, jalapeno that's minced, one whole bunch of cilantro. You're gonna add about half of it now into the pico. And you're gonna save the other half for the guac. All right, so we're gonna give it one final mix and then we're going to taste it and adjust the seasonings to your preference. I think Two limes is just enough acidity to give that little kick that's nice and fresh and vibrant in pico de gallo. Perfect. Now we're going to scoop some out, about a fourth cup. We're going to save that for the guacamole. So we're not gonna touch it at all. We're gonna let it sit about five minutes, then we're going to drain it. So when you put the pico de gallo into your layer dip bowl, nothing will get soggy. Okay, now for the avocados, make sure that they are perfectly ripe. And we're just going to slice it in half and remove the pit. I'm so hungry, I'm so ready for you all to see this monster ultimate seven layer dip bowl. But it is huge. It's gonna be, I'm not kidding you, it's gonna be like two pounds. It's hefty. It's gonna be a good, a good Super Bowl game. Lots of snacks to go on. Perfect, just get it like that for a second. Then we're going to squeeze in the last two limes. So yummy, so good. Then again, you're just going to add in the kosher salt and pepper uh, a little bit at a time. And you're going to taste as you go. I find that's the easiest way to describe making 
pico de gallo and guacamole for you viewers out there because it's really hard to give you a precise measurement of how much salt to use. Perfect. So now that the avocados are fully mashed, ready to go, we're going to gently pour in, I mean, gently mix in the rest of the cilantro. I don't know what it is. Four avocados with two limes. I still think that's like the best lime to avocado ratio. All right, now's the fun part. We're going to build the bowl now. So again, release the inner basket. We're gonna take out the bowl. Nice. And now we're going to start building the layers. I think the best way to go about building these layers is making sure that all of the dips, like the layers in, in the dip that need to be warmed up, you have them heated up before this process. And I've done that. I'm gonna turn around to the oven right now, grab our refried pinto beans, refried black beans, our queso dip, and our chicken. All right, so we're going to start off with the refried pinto beans. This is going to be 16 ounces. You can buy this at the store. All of the cans of pinto beans come in like 16 ounce cans. So this is warmed up already fully. I'm gonna just take that and that's gonna be the first layer into this ultimate seven layer dip bowl. Okay, so you're just gonna spread everything carefully and the bowl is cold now, so it's gonna be easy to move. I'm gonna take the black beans, the black refried beans. That's the second layer. Look kind of crazy right now, but I promise you when it's done, it'll be gorgeous, delicious, show-stopping. Now the bean dips are done. Now we're going to start with the third dip, and the third dip is going to be the pico. So all the juices are at the bottom, so you just gonna wanna take the dry ones first, the dry layer first. And the reason why you don't want much of the juice in the dip is because your bowl is made out of tortillas, air fried tortillas. So the more moisture you have in here, the quicker the bowl is going to kind of fall down because moisture will cause the sides to become soggy and you don't want that. Now we're going to go with the guacamole. So pretty. And what's great about this dip bowl is since everything is edible, you can definitely, at the end, after everyone's got their first serving, take the edge and pull it so you can cut it open too or just pull the side and you can see all the layers built up. And we'll show you that later. So we've just got that third layer in, or actually the fourth layer is going to be the guacamole. Later during tasting, I'll cut into the bowl and show you the different layers. But for now, we're gonna continue building. Some gloves here. The chicken is pretty warm though, so be careful when you do this. You might wanna use tongs. The next layer is going to be shredded rotisserie chicken or shredded chicken breast. Um, I'm just about two cups of shredded chicken. All right, so now that the chicken layer is done, you wanna be very careful because I kept the salsa con queso, the queso um, layer in the bowl as well. I mean, of course it's in the bowl. I mean, in the oven as well. And it is kind of toasty. So we're just going to scrape down the sides with the rubber spatula. And then we're gonna pour the cheese over the chicken. And then we're going to put the final layer of sour cream. Yum. So it's okay if your cheese and the sour cream mix together because we're going to top everything off with some shredded cheddar cheese that's left over and also some scallions. Look at this. You have just completed the ultimate seven layer dip bowl. I can't wait to cut into it and get into tasting with everyone. I do want to say that um, this is heavy. So I will be plating on this board, but for those of you at home, make sure you assemble it on the plate that you are ready to present with so that nothing cracks and nothing spills. And if it does, it's okay. Just have some tortilla chips off to the side and it'll be all good. And if you do want to add more decorations to this, you can add extra pico and extra guac. All right, we're gonna get everything cleaned up and go right into tasting. Hey! Look 
at this. It's literally the biggest bowl. It's two pounds. Everything is edible. Everything is delicious. You know, it's not perfect without the rest of the team. <laughs> All right, let's get down into tasting. You know, just be dipping on into that end zone here. Okay, okay, no, okay. Let's go. Yes. Like that. There's a lot of dip. I know what I was thinking. I don't have big enough chips, but. Mm -hmm. No, that's a touchdown. It's so good. Everything pairs beautifully together. It's creamy from the sour cream and the queso, but it's got a nice kick because of the jalapeno and the pico and the guacamole. And the beans just give it a very hearty, delicious, savory and umami punch at the end. Plus, tortilla chips are always crispy, but now, Wait till you hear this. Oh, yeah. Crispy outer shell tortilla bowl. Let's get on in there with more dip. Mmm. So good. Okay. Now we've got that out of the way. Move this guy back. I wanted to cut this in half and show you the layers. Yeah, nice and crispy, just how we like it. Can you see it? Kind of. But I promise you, there's seven layers. It's the ultimate seven layer dip bowl. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great Super Bowl Sunday. And I wanna know what your favorite dip is. Also, please let us know in the comments below what types of recipe videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much, bye.